been talking about this morning. Uh, dozens of schools across the state are pushing back their start times this morning because it is so cold out there. Yeah, and here's a live look at the capital city where right now it is negative nine. The coldest temperature on record in Concord for this day is 35 below, wow. but wind chills are making it feel even colder out there. Ray Brewer joins us. He's in Concord right now. And, Ray, how are you doing out there? <laughs> well, Aaron, I did take our advice and dress for the weather. I have tons of layers on. As a matter of fact, five layers on my upper body here, four layers on the lower body. And we are getting a bit of a break here in Concord. Obviously, it's nowhere near that record cold that you were just mentioned. But also, we're not getting the wind that we had uh, over on the seacoast area. Still, because of this bitter cold, officials are urging people to take extra precautions. So if you have to go outside, dress in layers. Layers, you'll want to make sure you bundle up. If you have pets, make sure to bring them inside. Now, many schools, such as here in Concord and around the state, have issued two hour delays. School officials, uh, officials rather, are hoping that the wind will subside by the time kids make their way to the bus stops. Now, Manchester superintendent says the delay will also allow time to make sure that the buses are running properly. So they can start their roads on time, pick up children as soon as they're at the bus stops and get them safely to school. This is a very, very serious issue. Uh, there's no question that it's not going to take long uh, for that cold to get in places and, and freeze skin and, and put you into a thermal position that uh, you may not want to be in. Now, the city of Manchester opened up a warming shelter at 351 Chestnut Street last night. That shelter closes at 7.30 this morning, but afterwards, people can stay warm by heading to the day center on Laurel Street. The shelter on Chestnut Street will be open again tonight and tomorrow night. Over on the seacoast in Dover, they've opened up a warming shelter at the McConnell Cafeteria on Locust Street. Now, that'll be open at 7 this morning, and you can also check with your various town officials make sure or see if there's any uh, shelter warming area opened in your neck of the woods. Also, once again, if you have some elderly neighbors, you want to make sure you, you check in on them to check and make sure that they are doing all right. Reporting live in Concord, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.